Just like DNA, RNA is the other nucleic acid present in living systems. RNA is related to DNA in that it is the next step in genetic expression. Both DNA and RNA are nucleic acids, which use base pairs of nucleotides, but RNA is formed through a process known as transcription, in which a particular segment of DNA is copied into RNA, especially mRNA, by the enzyme RNA polymerase. Now these were a lot of terms, so let's unpack them one at a time. RNA stands for ribonucleic acid, and there are some structural differences between DNA and RNA. Both DNA and RNA have sugars. Both are made of nucleotides, which have a sugar and a base. But in DNA, the sugar is deoxyribose, and in RNA, the sugar is just ribose. Another difference is that RNA has a uracil nitrogen base instead of a thymine base. So DNA has the A, G, C, T bases, but RNA has A, G, C, U as bases. A binds with U instead of T in RNA, and so the base couples are AT in DNA and AU in RNA. There are three types of RNA. mRNA, or messenger RNA, is the first type. It is a copy of only one gene and is made from a DNA template. This process of formation of mRNA is called transcription. Later in the video, we'll learn that this messenger RNA is itself a template for making a protein through another process called translation. The second type of RNA is the rRNA, or the ribosomal RNA, which is basically the RNA part of the ribosome. Recall that the ribosomes are just a combination of RNA and protein. The third RNA type is tRNA, or transfer RNA, and this is involved in translating the RNA code into the protein code in translation. But back to transcription first. Transcription is the first step of gene expression in which a particular segment of DNA is copied into RNA especially mRNA, by an enzyme called RNA polymerase. This process occurs as follows. RNA polymerase first binds to a specific type of DNA and creates a transcription bubble, which separates the two strands of the DNA helix. This is done by breaking the hydrogen bonds between complementary DNA nucleotides. Next, the RNA polymerase adds RNA nucleotides, which are complementary to the DNA nucleotides to one of the DNA strands. Next, in order to form the RNA strand, the RNA backbone is formed with assistance from RNA polymerase to form an RNA strand. Finally, hydrogen bonds of the RNA-DNA helix break, freeing the newly synthesized RNA strand. This newly formed RNA may remain in the nucleus or may exit to the cytoplasm through the nuclear pore complex. Before it exits, the RNA may also be further processed as well inside the nucleus. The stretch of DNA transcribed into an RNA molecule is called a transcription unit 
and encodes at least one gene. If the gene encodes a protein, the transcription produces messenger RNA, mRNA. The mRNA, in turn, serves as a template for protein synthesis through translation, which is what we will talk about next. Note that the transcribed gene may also encode rRNA or tRNA, which all help synthesize, regulate, and process proteins. Therefore, the RNA performs a very fundamental function within the cell.